Well, collectors, here we are again. It's another uh, unboxing, and as you can see, my friend uh, Johnny V is still here with back us. Again, uh, yes. Back again. Uh, he's going to be here a few more days, and uh, we figured we may as well get the most of him while he's here, <laughs> right. right, Johnny? That's right. Uh, don't want any grass growing under your feet, no. uh, so to speak. But uh, anyhow, today is. Um, uh, what is today? March 14th. March 14th, and it's video number, thank you Johnny, 67. <laughs> That's a pretty bad one. I don't even know the date, and I'm trying to do this. Uh, before we get started, um, uh, in one of the last videos, I mentioned that a, a lot of people like to take their pictures uh, with us at uh, shows and so forth, and uh, I, I asked if um, people would like to send in some of the pictures and we'll put them up on the wall. So we, we did get a, a couple here. Uh, here we go. Uh, they're pretty good pictures. Uh, the only thing I don't like is I'm shorter than everybody, but uh, I guess that's the way it is. But uh, if anybody else has pictures at shows, send them in and we'll be happy to put them on this crazy wall back here. It's, uh, pretty much accepts anything. So, uh, Debbie asked me too, uh, she says she gets a lot of calls from new collectors and I get a lot of emails from new collectors too and they, uh, they always say, what can I do to get started? How do I start? What do I buy? And uh, I mean that's a hard, it's uh, hard advice to it's, give. Yeah. It's really everybody's, a hard question because the the subject of military, I mean, it's vast. I mean, you go for everything from uh, edged weapons to flags to armbands to medals to helmets and uniforms, insignia. It just goes on and on and on. And everybody has different tastes, right, John? Yep, I mean, that's you know, true. you get the. Uh, it's hard to say what anyone particularly would want to collect, but. The main thing is just get started doing something. Um, maybe buy a couple of armbands and see how you like that. And if you get hooked on it, maybe you can build an armband collection. If you don't, uh, maybe start trying buy an army dagger or an SA dagger. See how you like that. Uh, uh, you just the main thing is is to get started, and then try to come to some shows where you can see some of the merchandise, yep. uh, handle it, it hand. and yeah, it's yeah. nice to. Learn um, that way. Of course, you, the, you have the internet, uh, but as we always say, you want to uh, be careful to um, uh, uh, not buy things that are bad. And, That's uh, true. That's uh, I think you can you can find out uh, whether most dealers are legitimate or not by uh, uh, going onto the forums and asking, and uh, and they'll probably say, "Yeah, Whitman, he's that that old <laughs> guy's been cheating people for a hundred years," and so you. Uh, it's not very much fun with that kind of thing too, but uh, uh, you can at least get a feel for it and whatever you buy, um, you want to make sure it's original, so ask the man to gar unconditionally yeah. guarantee the item and in writing if he will. Uh, and also um, uh, quality and yeah, condition. condition yeah. You know, it's, uh, uh, I've said that over and over again that you buy something with a dent in it and 20 years from now you get it out It's still got that damn dent in it and uh, yeah. uh, It okay. always is going to be something for the next buyer to say well yeah, I, uh, I don't think I want this or you, you want too much money for it So if you can find something that uh, that no one can pick on and really has the what I like to call the wow factor, yeah. you know, that, yeah. that makes a big difference too. But uh, again, just do something. <laughs> Stop writing everybody <laughs> on what should I do and do something yourself and see yeah. if you like it. Uh, you know, if you buy an Iron Cross, I mean, you, these things are easy to get hooked on. They're yeah. really, really something. And before you know it, uh, you may want to do a whole Iron Cross collection in its own because oh, yeah. there are all many, the makers many and yeah, variations, all the makers yeah. and variations and ribbons and uh, it's, it's it's really um, endless what you can do. Uh, some people like to collect uh, M43 caps. You know, oh, yeah. they, you know, there's a lot of varieties of those. There's officers, models, NCOs, and all kinds of different versions. And but just get started. Okay, that's that's enough on that. I think. Uh, <laughs> Very good. Uh, 
Good advice. Yeah, you got to be your own guy though, and uh, use your own initiative and get just get started and go from there. So, what do we got, Johnny? Yeah, we, we got anything we that do, came we have in? We a stack of boxes, indeed. We'll uh, we can start small if that's all right. Start small, okay. You never know. Good things in small packs. You got that Bob bit. Burns uh, yeah, right. cutter there? Uh, yeah, it is. No cigar yet, Pop? Yeah, life signs of the I'm bingo. just looking at it. I'm going <laughs> to light a cigar. First things first. Yep. Got to do that. An ugly. Mm -hmm. mm. And of course, my first sip of the day, and it's always too early, like I tell everybody. You got something, Johnny? Just a little bit. All yes, right. Sir. Prost. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Here's to you guys. Mm. Wow, that's too strong. <laughs> Better have another sip. <laughs> Watch that one better. Yeah. So what do we got, Johnny? All right, I'll let we you got the uncover over here. Open, though. We're in the home homestretch. Let's see, uh, is that just padding or is there something in there? I think it's probably just padding. Good, save those bags. We need those and bags. Little letter here. I'll read that later. I like uh, not reading the letters because then I don't know what's in here, you know? <laughs> so it's a surprise to everybody. Well, mm. Uh, it looks like we have a, a an army scabbard with a dent <laughs> in it. So, uh, yeah. all right, guys, what uh, what they're looking for here? They want to have this uh, dent taken out. And usually, with um, with dents like this that are that are in the center of the scabbard, uh, they'll come out pretty well. If you have dents that are on the scabbard edges, that is almost impossible to remove. So, we'll see what we can do with that. But. Uh, <laughs> funny you uh, mentioned that in the run-up to the video. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Uh -huh. But that's a nice scabbard, and it's a shame it has the dents, because look at the yeah. the silvering and all on it. It's a looks like a, a pack with those yeah. kind of bands on it, I think, but uh, I don't know. But Yeah, nice handwork on the seams. Yeah, very nice. So, all right, we'll take care of that. What else we got, Johnny? See, this says uh, photos and frames, sentimental items. Ooh, we'll see what that is. That sounds like kind of a, a catchphrase to me. Let's see what's in there. Right. Some bubble paper. Another little letter here. Uh, uh, this is, uh, I think, something that's not going to throw you guys too much, but um, yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, what we have here, I remember this now. A, a guy sent me an email and uh, he said he just had a, uh, I thought there was a grip with it too. Maybe there is. Let's just make it worse. Yeah, I remember from the email. Uh, he's got a, uh, First model Luftwaffe with the, uh, the the grip wires all coming off of it and the uh, the uh, pommels missing. It looks like the tang is broken, it's broken here. Off, yeah. yeah. So um, uh, you know, it's just um, it's really parts at this point. Uh, at least as far as I'm concerned, uh, I think the blade was not too good on it either. No, the blade is not not good at all. Uh, but the one thing that is good, guys, that uh, that scabbard uh, has really got nice leather on it and um, and, a, and a great hanger. Uh, so this will go into the uh, famous Whitman's parts box. <laughs> no furrow on the grip, but you never know. Might need a cross guard for something or whatever. I think it'll be a good thing. That's something I'll buy in. Put this, put this note with it too, Johnny. Thank you. Well, nothing too exciting yet. Yeah. Up here. Well, we'll see what happens. So that box didn't have photos and mementos <laughs> in it, did it? That was just a little, uh, little something for the post office, I guess. A diversion. Little diversion, yeah. Oh, 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 the dreaded uh, popcorn. <laughs> I'm oh, learning to love boy, it as much Johnny. as you do. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Uh -huh. well, we'll see what we got there without. Hold on, let me uh, get it. Might a, be, uh, could be trouble here, collectors. I don't know. This popcorn. It is great packing stuff, but boy, it is, uh, it is great really, for making uh, a mess. Great yeah. for making a mess. Yeah. There we go. And I guess there's really no other way to to do it. You got to get some of this off here to get at the stuff. And what do we got? Another cover in? Oh no, there's another box inside. Oh boy. Yeah. We got into more than we bargained for here, guys. Well, whoever sent this, thank you, I think, uh, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, geez, we just cleaned this cellar up, too, guys, and, uh, man, oh, man. this wee stuff? Uh, did we take that vacuum cleaner back to the place we rented it yet? <laughs> uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll have to get down on our hands and knees for this mess. Well, I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, a lot of you guys went to the SOS show, I'm sure, and uh, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. There was a lot of stuff there. Uh, we showed you some of the things we bought there last time, and we're still sorting through it and uh, trying to get the things up on the website, which is always the, uh, the biggest problem. So, uh, But uh, stay tuned, and, uh, and you'll see them. And here comes Johnny with a. Right. Is that the box that was inside of the box? That's correct, yeah. Okay. It's a Russian well, it must be something uh, precious then, I would think, you know? Yeah. Yeah, don't cut yourself. We don't want to get blood yeah. on that Bob Burns cutter, oh, you no. know? That? No, we don't want to damage <laughs> the cutter. Oh, uh, looks like we got. Uh, oh, yeah, this is, uh, this is nice. These are nice things, collectors. Um, We'll get a get a couple of them out here and show you what we got. Um, these are um, uh, glasses that that come from the uh, the Berghof, and uh, I'll show you what they uh, what they look like. Obviously, this is a uh, this is a beer glass. It's very lovely, and it has what we call the pointed style A H. I think I've shown you this monogram before. Uh, that's all cut into this uh, crystal in that pattern. Um, I don't know whether there's other than beer glasses in there, but maybe we can pull out another one, Johnny, just to... Looks like there is, yep. Yeah, maybe one more and show you the variety. Um, I'll tell you about this man, too, that, um, that sent these things in. It's uh, kind of a complicated story, but um, this man's father um, worked at the Pentagon in the 60s, and um, his secretary's husband uh, was a World War II veteran, and uh, she was telling uh, our man's father here that, uh, that her husband had brought home all of this stuff from uh, Germany, and uh, what could she do with it, and uh, and uh, my customer's father said, well, I, I'm interested in things like that. And she said, well, that's great. You can have it all. Well, this woman brought in all kinds of things that I've had over the past year that came directly from the Berghof, even uh, Red, Red Dragon, Mice in China, oh, yeah. and uh, just lots of things. Uh, and this glassware is um, particularly interesting, too, because it's very, very rare. Um, and great, uh, great for investment in the future too. Here we have like a highball glass, uh, and that has the same type of um, cut-in monogram with the with the pointed letters. So it looks like we got a whole box of this stuff. Uh, so we'll be uh, we'll be offering that to you on a on a piecemeal uh, basis. And uh, if you're an AH collector, these are wonderful things, absolutely original. Oh, I'm glad we were able to get to that through all that popcorn, Johnny. Yeah, but, uh, worth it, right? Yeah. So, let me put that back in there. So, I don't know, I guess we got about a dozen or so uh, glasses that we'll be offering. So, that's all good stuff, collectors. Very good stuff. Boy, the whole floor is full of popcorn, Johnny. <laughs> man, this, oh, man. This is uh, job security, right? Yeah, job security. Got that right. 
burning the place down here as usual. Yes, sir. Well, mm. it looks like an assortment of things here. We've got a lot of little boxes. Is that what it is? One. Yeah, well, let's, let's go through them and see if there's anything interesting in any of them. Heavy. Heavy, is it? Yeah. Heavy doesn't necessarily mean it's... It's uh, true, right? Well, let's see. Oh. Ah, that's it. Oh, this is this is pretty neat. Here we go, guys. Uh, here we have a oh, wow. a fighter plane, is it not? It's a the, an American uh, plane. Uh, it's got some padding around the propeller here, and uh, there's something else here, which I guess is maybe is the uh, oh yeah, this is the um, assembly that I guess it all seats on. Let's see here. Got tape on everything, but uh, the bubble stuff. But yeah, that's what this is. I assumedly the uh, the plane sets on this base. This is very, very heavy. Yeah. So it's very well made and it um, it looks absolutely period to me. To me it's a um, it's a it says Republic P forty seven Thunderbolt. So you guys that are into aircraft, I'm sure you guys know what that is. So that's kind of a nice thing. I like that. You like that, Johnny? Indeed. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. It's nice to see the U.S. Pretty stuff. Pretty cool. Okay. Yep. For you guys into U.S. stuff, there you go. Okay, number two here. Looks like a little assortment of stuff here. It's just what it says it is, oxygen mask. Uh, what, is, what is this now? Oxygen mask for pilot, right? Yeah, so original box, is? yeah. Pilot's mm -hmm. oxygen mask. Oh, it says it on the box. Yeah. yeah what <laughs> do we read that? <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys, I know everything. <clears throat> that's probably, uh, yeah. that's part of the goggles. Yeah. This isn't opened. Uh, should I open no. it? No. No? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, you guys that know this stuff, I guess, know what <clears throat> what's in that uh, that wrapper there. So, uh, is this American too? I guess it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's probably a good thing. Now, what is this? Ah, well, this would be a flying helmet, right? There's a theme. Mm -hmm. It's got nice fleece lining and so forth. Well, for you American guys, you're doing all right here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no, that's not American. Yeah, there we go, guys. A um, uh, an imperial uh, helmet with a camo. The camo all looks original to me. And it's got those Frankenstein air vents on the side of it. No dents. Also no liner. Uh, there's a little bit of what was the chin strap. But still, uh, that's a great um, display piece, isn't it, John? Mm, very nice. Yeah, I and like that. That's a, that's a nice helmet. Flag. Ah, flag. And uh, this one looks like it might be a um, vehicle ID flag. Because I see grommets in it. The ID flags always have these grommets for tying them down. And uh, this one, uh, some have the swaths on them, some have uh, uh, just mm -hmm. the Maltese type cross. Mm -hmm. uh, this one looks like a. Maltese this, cross. It's a Balkan cross. Balkan, oh, you're thank right. You, bro. Thanks, mm -hmm. Ob. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, this one has the Balkan cross, which is. Uh, we can show you that without anybody getting upset. There's half of it anyhow. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You know. yeah. <laughs> so there you go. That looks like a half decent uh, flag. Uh, usually these are single sided. Let's just make sure. Uh, yeah, that's the case here. Uh, single sided vehicle ID flag uh, with the walking cross. Right, Ob? That's right. Yeah. 
Thank goodness we got Ob here to keep me <laughs> keep straight, straight on this yeah. stuff. Yeah, we got to get your crosses right. A couple of geniuses <laughs> that we are, you know. <laughs> All right, that's good, guy. All right. This more stuff. Got some paper, yeah. This is fact. Let's see what this stuff is here. Uh, uh, computer altitude correction. I don't know what that would mean, but just leave it sealed if it's sealed. Let's see. This looks like it opens here. Some kind of an instrument thing, I guess. Wow, <laughs> oh, yeah. that looks pretty complicated to me. I guess that's for figuring uh, yeah. directions, altitude, distance, and yep. things like that. This all turns and oh, yeah, true yeah. attitude. Yeah. yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It looks wow. like uh, that's probably American also. Yep. Yeah. Some interesting items here. And let's see what we got next. Uh, well, it looks like. Uh, a framed R is an RAD officer, it looks like. Not sure. Does that look like an RAD guy to you, John? Hard to tell. Yeah, it is hard to tell. I yeah. don't see any. Yeah, but I mean, it's a frame is really frame. kind of interesting, yeah. But uh, there you go, guys. Uh, uh, I never know what's coming in, so. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this is true. Everything in it. Yeah. And here's a. Uh, Here's a, um, a handbook of German military forces. Probably all kinds of great um, information there that got to tell uh, it towards me. Was probably um, compiled uh, so the Allies could figure out what the Germans were up to, I think. But that uh, looks like a well used book, too, and probably very valuable for information. Whoa, we got another nice one here. Yeah, here's another one with um, with a. Uh, it looks like a, it has a lot of artwork on it. Um, these were the kind of things that uh, uh, GIs that had talent. They kind of uh, painted these up and then yeah. uh, either gave them or sold them to uh, their buddies that wanted to take them home. And this has the areas where they mm -hmm. were in um, World War One. This would be oh, right? yeah, yeah. It's a, mm -hmm. a doughboy's helmet, I think. Uh, still got the liner in it, and there's a guy's name, Thomas. Good name. Yeah, good name. So that's kind of a nice thing. Let me see the inside again. There's right? the moose. Let me also, see the inside again. What's that? Inside. Now, this is not the stuff we normally get, but uh, <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's true. Well, I hope you guys like this. I mean, we're just we're just opening what we got. We can't that's control right. what comes in. So this looks more like up your alley here. Ah, With our field. Yeah, another free sock with a hole in it. <laughs> oh well. Let's see here what we got. Ah, oh, you were right, Johnny. Uh, this is definitely up my alley, and uh, uh, boy, it's a nice example, too. Uh, uh, I still see uh, guild on these um, pommel swazes on this side. I see a little bit on the other side, too, and nice white grip, um, really fine original um, porta pee a uh, very good um, airplane gray finish to the scabbard and uh, a nice set of hanging straps I mean that is a uh, that's a nice dagger that was probably uh, produced for a Luftwaffe pilot um, nice condition throughout and let's see what the blade looks like oh not bad at all just a little bit of age but not bad and high grip Tiger, yeah, there we go, guys. Tiger marked. So there's a complete piece here that literally looks like 
yeah. it just came out of the woodwork. It's not been played with. Uh, these parts are all original to this particular piece, and it'd uh, uh, be nice to think about where, yeah, the knot's <laughs> nice interesting. Yeah. See how interesting that's tied, collectors? These guys, they uh, added a little of their own yep. touch. Uh, that wouldn't have been regulation, of course, but it, but it sure Slightly looks good. Slightly off, yeah, it looks Slightly good. Slightly off, yeah. That was yeah. just to show everybody that this guy thought he was pretty cool. <laughs> After all, he was probably a pilot, so why not? There's well, just a couple more items here in this same group. Uh, this is a little kit here, a smoking kit. Uh, looks like somebody somebody sat on the uh, cigarette case, and the lighter's kind of bent too. And and uh, uh, this is uh, you know, <laughs> what do you call these cigarette holders yeah, or whatever? I think that's uh, it, yeah. Yeah. So that's. Uh, Beautiful I don't know where it's about about the it's real. Squish. See that, and then this this is kind of interesting. Um, uh, it's an old set of um, aviation sunglasses. Uh, uh, these are really uh, these these are really period. Look at the ear flaps on them and all that. Uh, uh, I you know you see these kind of glasses worn today quite a bit. Um, but they don't look like this. Not quite, that, no. Those are really, uh, uh, I imagine they're probably quite rare too that uh, an old set like this still in the case uh, uh, is still around. So that's kind of neat stuff. Stuff we've never seen before here on the unboxing. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Every episode. I kind of like the Luftwaffe dagger the best out of that group <laughs> though, but uh, yeah. Oh well. What do we got here, Johnny? Good question. It's a bit of a mystery, I think. Another mystery? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another customer. Mm. And more peanuts. I love peanuts. And more peanuts, yeah. Knock some out of here. This looks kind of messy, too, Johnny. Here, <laughs> I don't know what we have. <laughs> You're getting care packages now. <laughs> Routine wellness. Uh, really important stuff my cat has taught me. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know, somebody's trying These to... These are some uh, antiques uh, here. Yeah. Look at this, Christmas ornaments. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Uh, somebody didn't have anything better to do with their time, I think. Uh, uh, <laughs> Goodness. What else is in here? Anything that, Anything we could actually use? What is that, laxative now or something? Uh, oh, the best cat ever. All right, you guys, at, uh, cat guys. Hey, there we go. Uh, oh, Short traditional breads. shortbread. That's not an old one, is it, from a couple years ago? <laughs> we found shortbreads uh, that were two and a half years old in here. Well, uh, this, this looks like a little uh, a little care package, I think. Somebody yeah. was... Uh, Maybe it's a Debbie. Yeah, man, I don't know. There's, uh, there's a, an old partner's envelope or something there. I don't know what that's all about. But, uh, so there you go. I don't know, collectors. I, <laughs> I'm not sure I know what to do with those things. I can't wait to get done this video so I can read those cat books. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yeah. Time well spent. Well, certainly nice of people to think of us like that. That's right. Uh, That's nice right. gesture. Mm-hmm. You forgot the Christmas ornament. Oh, yeah. Oh, that must be a heavy one, Jerry. Yeah. Can you get your laxative out of there, Dad? The laxative out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, after the lunch I ate, I don't think I need the laxative. But we'll see. Hopefully we'll get through the next box here. Yeah, I can put this somewhere too. This is a, this is a really a nice, uh, nice, one, nice bag, I like that. Can't retire on it, but it's still pretty nice. 
Well, it's really time for a drink, guys. Ooh, this is a tough, uh, tough unboxing here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That helps a little bit. All right, looks like we got a fully packed one here. Oh, great, guys. 21 items with a little smile. Uh, you think it's all laxative, this one, or? Uh, <laughs> Cookies. <laughs> That is. Looks like it's uh, well packaged. And, uh, wow, 21 things. I don't know whether we got time for all that. So, well, let's see what some of them look like, anyhow. But you guys are trying to keep me busy, aren't you? I can see what's happening here. For you guys that say the video is too short, send them 40 things. <laughs> yeah, send yeah. more stuff. Send more yeah. stuff, yeah. Well, let's see, it looks like we got some kind of a nice sign here. Uh, Landvoc, uh, that's a uh, police organization. Looks in really nice uh, nice condition. So, uh, that's something that somebody that has a, a police collection might look real nice in the, in the background. So that's all right. Yeah, kind of like that. Do you have any advice on enamel signs? I keep hearing. Yeah, there's a lot of controversy lot of with them. Uh, the Polish are knocking them out. And, Reproductions uh, it's, uh, are out there. It's kind of a shame because it um, it puts a uh, uh, a little schmear on uh, on the good ones too because uh, enamel is enamel, and uh, it's really a uh, it's not like a a painting where you get uh, cracks in the surface and you, you know you can mm -hmm. see some of the, these are. But we'll see. We'll look into it. Let's see what else we got here. Huh? Oh. Here's a here's a copy of Deutschland Airwach. I think most of you guys are familiar with these um, cigarette albums, and and if they got all the pictures in them and so forth, they're uh, they're pretty good collectibles. And it's quite rare to see one with the uh, the cover still uh, intact. Um, I don't know, I think this is the one with the fold out in the back with all these guys and yeah there you go. <laughs> uh, thousands of people uh, at the uh, Nuremberg Stadium during party day. I mean that photo alone is cool enough just to want to own the whole book. Isn't that wild? Must have taken quite a camera in those days to photograph <laughs> something like that. I wonder if they did them separately and put them together. Stitched I don't. I don't know how they did them. But anyhow, this is a. This is kind of a nice thing. I like that. Let's see what we got here. Well, now we're talking. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, here we have a nice. Um, uh, rural, I think, or no, it's a municipal police, right up with the green, or is that rural? Yeah, it's rural with the brown band. Yeah, it's, it's, you're right, it's rural. Got nice insignia on it, it's an officer model. Uh, it looks like the diamond is, um, celluloid diamonds going from it, but the rest of the cap looks, uh, looks quite nice yet. I don't see any mothing on it. Yeah, you like that, Johnny? It's a nice hat. Yeah, it's a nice hat. Yeah. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice. All right, that's four of the 21 items. <laughs> oh, we got another one there. Well, this one's definitely rural with the orange. Yeah, I think that other one is municipal, but we'll see. But yeah, this is nice too. It's got the cockade and the police eagle, uh, orange piping. Uh, I don't see uh, I don't see any mothing on it. Got breather holes on each side of it. The uh, chin strap is in nice condition, and look at that brim. Uh, usually, uh, this kind of uh, patent leather that it was a lot of times you get attic crazy yeah, and all and, yeah. from heat. But uh, this is nice and. Uh, let's see what the inside looks like. 
yeah, still got uh, still got some of the some of the original diamond in there. A little of it's been uh, gone to time, but uh, a little bit of the Maker and the Eagle and uh, size uh, 54 in there. So uh, that's not too bad a cap. I like that. Yes, sir. All right. Let's see what this is. Uh, Got a, uh, a uh, police helmet here. Um, this helmet shows a little uh, a little usage. Um, there's the police decal on the one side, and uh, then on the other side is the national insignia. Uh, the chin strap is it's pretty wide chin strap. I don't remember seeing them that wide, but I guess they made them that way. And the liner is still in uh, in nice condition, and uh, uh, this policeman had a big head, 60. <laughs> uh, so uh, that's a, but that's not a bad helmet. If you want one that was worn and went through the period, I mean, there you are. But it's all there and still in pretty good condition. So not a bad thing at all. What else we got here, Johnny? Huh. Well, here we got a, uh, a Shaco. Yeah, a, um, a police Shaco with the uh, <clears throat> the cockade here that um, you collectors know this uh, cockade always comes loose uh, and it fits into uh, uh, a slot up here on the on the helmet. And there you are. It's um, it's interesting. Uh, this piece is entirely black with no um, no green felt around it. Oh, yeah. uh, and uh, we normally attribute these to Berlin when, right? they're, when they're all black. Yeah. Um, great liner in it. Not bad at all. Um, in fact, the whole the whole Shaco is quite nice. Uh, this is literally all patent leather, uh, and it has not crazed really. It's just uh, in uh, amazing. amazing condition. So that's uh, that's a nice thing too. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, we're getting some interesting headgear, guys. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, it looks like I never have too many flags, I guess. So here we go. Uh, uh, this is a um, uh, an NSDAP example here. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. It's um, it's got a separate separately sewn swaz and separately sewn field, uh, so it's probably quite early, I think. Uh, uh, and it looks in uh, looks in nice condition. The other side looks all right too. I mean, it's used, but nevertheless, it's still good. Uh, it has a um, a tunnel hoist on uh, on this end, you know that would be where they put a, a bar or a staff to uh, to display it. So so that's okay. And then we got another thing up. Looks like we got a little Japanese uh, rising sun flag here, all made out of silk. Um, looks like somebody's brains are all over it. Yeah, it looks like blood stains, doesn't it? Yeah, but uh, oh well, some guys like that. I don't know. It's not for me, but uh, uh, a little too gruesome. But uh, there you go, guys. Uh, a good Jap flag. Uh, certainly went through the period. <laughs> yeah, still got the tabs and the string on it too. There we go. And Small items for you. Another, another group of stuff here. <clears throat> Definitely calls for a drink. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, that helps. Mm -hmm. Get this nobly going again. Well, we got a um, a real nice um, wool uh, police 
overseas cap. See that with the insignia on the side there and it's got the flaps and in the center of it is a, uh, uh, a sewn cloth um, cockade and uh, the inside is really in nice condition with like a black cotton material and uh, I don't see any mothing on this uh, hat at all. That's not bad, huh, Donnie? No, you like that? These yeah. Things, it's really nice. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, let's see what else is in here. It looks like a lot of, uh, a lot of smaller stuff. Uh, here's a workbook, and uh, let's see what this is. Uh, aha! Here we go. Indeed, their Seeker Heights Pulitzer. So this was. Um, uh, in service of the security in service police. of the security police yeah so that's a pretty good uh, pretty good armband um, let's just see if it's uh, sewn up the rear and all that stuff uh, I think we've had one or two of these of uh, but not many in the past that I remember uh, this is printed on here uh, and it is sewn up the rear and uh, nothing inside but uh, but that's a uh, that's a pretty rare armband not something you see all the time, so that's a good one there. Put that in there, Johnny. And uh, here's another, uh, uh, just a um, uh, an NSDAP armband, a printed type. These are the most uh, common that you see, and uh, but it was definitely worn, and it's still in uh, okay condition. Um, I'm not sure what uh, this is something to do with I don't know do you know what those are Johnny I, I've seen them before but I don't really know what they are Landrat des Kreises Bitburg no I don't actually know what that is yeah. some kind of an identification disc yeah maybe something you throw in your luggage or something let me see it let me see it oh he's got a clue oh yeah I don't know what that one is it looks like some kind of an ID, like an ID piece disc, for, yeah, uh, on equipment or something like that. There's a lot of factory ID things like that too that they put out. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Yeah, you might be right, Ob. Now this is a nice little box, is uh, dated 1936 with the Olympic uh, rings on it. Oh, and it's a nice, um, a nice Olympic bell there. Still in the original box. Oh, yeah. That's not bad, huh? That's a nice thing for you guys that collect uh, Olympic items. Very nice condition. Yeah, nice on the back too. Yeah, that's not a that's not a bad thing. I don't know how hard these are to find, but uh, anything Olympic is mm -hmm. always uh, interesting uh, from 1936. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, and something here too. Oh, you guys certainly got an assortment of, yeah. uh, of stuff here. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, here we go. All right, guys. Let's make sure this is a good one. I believe it is. Uh, this is a. Um, Held Genda Marie, which was the uh, like the MPs of the of the army, and of course these things um, glow in the dark. They're luminous, and um, this one has kind of a um, a gray cloth on the back. A lot of times you'll see felt. I don't mm -hmm. know how they're old. I mean, they probably made tons of these kind of things, and uh, different manufacturers may have made them differently. Uh, but the chain is a real heavy um, steel type that's uh, uh, kind of aluminum plated, you know. So uh, uh, this is really in good condition. So that's that's a nice. Uh, I'm gonna click the light and see if you're gonna see the. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, see if we'll you can just, see the glow. Uh, bang! There right. it is. See it glow there? Yep. So that's kind of cool. And then lastly, there's uh, some kind of a vessel. Uh, 
I know everybody wants me to blow it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who was blowing it last, so we'll let that uh, we'll let that be. I guess these kind of whistles were used by the police or uh, HJ's. HJ. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, looky here, guys. Wow. Boy, this is a, this is quite an item here. Um, this must be um, a trumpet banner, I would think. You think so, Ob? Mm -hmm. Think so, Looks John? Like it's me, yeah. And it's um, it's very very heavy because of all the uh, the bullion that's in it. And it's in um, magnificent condition. Uh, I don't know a lot about these kind of things. We'll have to have to check it out. But um, uh, certainly is beautiful, isn't it? Wow! It's incredible colors. Are yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's quite an item there. Wow. We'll check this out, and uh, uh, if it's um, if it's original, which it uh, sure looks good to me, we'll see. Uh, it's um, probably the most valuable thing that's been in the box so far, so far. Yeah. <laughs> which isn't saying much. But <laughs> no, that's, uh, uh, that's that's quite nice. It's uh, a good thing. It's a very good thing. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Wow, didn't expect that, guys. Did you? <laughs> Man, we went from a uh, a cigarette album to uh, to a police bullion trumpet banner. Still got more, Johnny, yeah, huh? We're getting closer, but yeah. Certainly a lot of stuff here. Oh, I like the sword bag. I'll say that right off the bat. Uh, <laughs> uh, what could be in here? Guys, oh, well, this is nothing that I was going to say. It's probably a police here. band. At it, knowing this, uh, that not. is a that is a nice one. It's um, uh, it's the long, uncut, 17-inch wow. long model with the clamshell and real nice uh, grip plates. Uh, uh, Third Reich period eagle, and uh, the um, Portapee looks original, original too, yeah. too yeah, doesn't it? Really does. I mean, it's not a new one. It's one that uh, looks like it's always been uh, been with it. Uh, and the frog is really nicely marked. Uh, nicely marked. 1937, and it's got a um, a maker mark here on the back. Um, let's see what the blade looks like. Oh yeah, it looks very nice. Yeah, but the usual. Why do they put fingerprints on? Not even. You know, I don't understand that. The, this blade is mint, but it, somebody handled it. Um, and uh, uh, this is a um, Wiresberg, I believe that. Oh is. yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, Paul Wiresberg, and uh, you can see it's got um, got the uh, numbers on the back there. Uh, We'll have to look at this more closely to see if they match, but the, the first two are SB, and they're, yeah, they probably do match. Looks like they do. Well, guys, I mean, this is a, this is a really, really uh, nice piece here. Um, you don't see these uh, long bayonets too much. Uh, uh, you collectors know that uh, when 1936, when Himmler took over the police, they decided they weren't going to make a lot of new bayonets, so they figured they'd use up the ones that were made during the Weimar period. Uh, and what they did was cut them off, and you can always tell a cut-off one, uh, they'll only measure 13 inches instead of 17, and the fuller will go all the way down to the tip, yeah. which you'll never see on one that was not uh, cut. So, of course, they removed the clamshell too. So, um, it's really nice to... Uh, to see one like this that somehow escaped the process, but it's not as though the um, Nazi police didn't know about it because they did mm -hmm. put the um, police eagle in the grip. Yeah. This probably would have had a Weimar eagle uh, 
before that, I guess somebody says, hey, we're going to cut this down. Now we're out of time. Let's <laughs> just uh, let's let it go the way it is or whatever. I don't know. I'm just making that up. But uh, but it's it's quite rare to to see one that's untouched like that and very, very desirable. If you're a police collector, there's nothing greater than that. And I think that's a brown leather, too. It does not look black. that way, doesn't it? Yeah. I think it is brown. Yeah. So that makes it the uh, rural police on, on top of it, maybe. I don't know. Okay. All right, well, how are we doing with this box, Johnny? Making, there's still more stuff in here. Making progress, but there's, there's yeah. a few more pieces. Yeah, he said, uh, how many did he say? 21. 21 items with a smile. So I guess we're on about uh, 19 now. Number uh, that counts oh, for one or two. Here. Yeah, that uh, maybe counts for two. Oh, this is a very nice uh, set of boots that are still in uh, very reasonable condition. Um, they, um, I guess it's hard to tell whether or not they're officer boots, but they, uh, they really, uh, mark on the inside. They, they kind of look officery to me, but uh, I don't know. But they're certainly in nice condition. Uh, they were used, obviously. So some poor German at the end of the war was walking around with his bare feet, I guess, because uh, uh, one of our guys uh, needed his boots. You see anything on them at all, Johnny? They're dated 1941 on the inside. Oh, oh, that's interesting. And then there's the sizing and everything. You see inside 1941? The yeah. It looks that way. You can just see the 194. I think it's a one right there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that is definitely the year. Oh, P.O. Could that be for police? They could be police boots. Certainly could be. Yeah. I that. Well, some of you guys out there might know about that kind of nomenclature. Uh, not really my forte, but uh, uh, I don't see any. Oh yeah, wait a minute, Johnny. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of stuff in here in the front of this. Yeah, this is all the sizing. Of the song. Let me see. Is that is that on the other one too? Yeah, it's the same. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think yeah. if uh, uh, somebody takes a few minutes and studies all this. Uh, uh, we find that if you take your uh, your uh, cell phone and uh, uh, take a picture or something like that, then you can blow that all up, right. and it's uh, it's Works a lot easier well. to uh, to tell what you got there. Oh my! Well, by the looks of it, we're going to see a um, a police uniform here. Yeah, this, this man must have kind of specialized in police stuff, I think. Either that or it sure was a big coincidence. Everything he found was police. <laughs> ah, here we go, guys. Yeah. Here we are. There's a nice, um, a nice police uh, tunic. Um, uh, this would appear to me to be an officer's tunic. Wouldn't you think those boards are yes. officer? They look like they are. And he's got a DR uh, L badge there with um, uh, the police insignia on the sleeve, and uh, overall the uniform looks in uh, looks in nice nice condition. I don't see any uh, any mothing in it at all. It looks looks pretty good. Let's see if there's a tailored label or anything? No. Well, there you go. Uh, okay. Um, that's not bad. So that was a pretty interesting. Uh, oh, oh, there's, yeah, there's more. more. Oh, I thought we were going. Never ending. Whoa. Let's see what this is. Uh, All right. Yeah, I thought I was going to get you guys out of this uh, group, <laughs> but uh, Johnny's not going to let me do it. No wonder that box was so big and heavy. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is uh, this is kind of good. It's a uh, a grouping of uh, police stuff. It looks like we've got to start out here a, uh, a police um, sport shirt. Looks pretty nice. You like that one, Hob? Yeah, it's good. It looks all right to me. Big. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Uh, and we've got some uh, trousers here that have the green police stripe 
running down the legs. Uh, they look in nice condition. And then with the trousers, we also have a, uh, a tunic, uh, which just happens to have a, uh, a holster uh, with it. And uh, the belt rigging, see the police buckle there? Uh, and then it's also got the nice uh, cross strap, you know. Uh, so put it onto a mannequin, I would think this is going to look, uh, look quite nice. And he's got a, um, a general assault badge. Would a policeman wear a general assault badge? Yeah, he served. You see his metal bar? Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe so. Uh, yeah, it's second class Iron Cross, War Merit, and Police. Imperial. Oh, they, well, it's a Hindenburg, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but no um, no infantry assault, because uh, this is police. Yeah. Anyhow, the metal looks good on it. So, there we go. That's a complete outfit there. And, uh, again, let's just see if there's any morphine. Uh, uh, just a little stain there. There's a couple of ticks up here that looks more like wear than uh, than a moth. Mm -hmm. Does that look like... Uh, it's uh, the tunic's in nice condition. I like that rigging too. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, collectors, we're uh, we're down to the last box, Johnny. That's it. Well, we'll see what uh, see what's in here and uh, uh, for the finale. <laughs> Let's hope it's something. Uh, oh no, there's more more Peanuts. popcorn in there. Oh, holy cow. We look like we could uh, be jumping up and down on this stuff. There's so much of it on the floor. It's gonna be a major, major cleanup here. Yeah. Oh, this is nicely, uh, nicely done here. I'm gonna slice them open, Johnny, and uh, there we go. don't cut anything, especially your finger. <laughs> Better mistake. Mm -hmm. Another letter. Now, oh, let's see. Looks like two items, huh? Oh, I guess we'll go with the smaller one first, huh? That sounds fair. I'm still. Tied up there? Yeah, still need a little bit. Alright. I don't know, Johnny, you're getting awful good at this. <laughs> you better hang around here a little longer. I'm starting to like it. I appreciate it. I don't have to do anything but stand here and uh, mumble. <laughs> and sip. And sip and smoke. And Johnny's doing stuff with all the work. Well, oh, that's alright. I'm, I'm old. I can do that if I want. What the heck? Yeah. Let's see what we got here, guys. Uh, yeah, this looks uh, uh -oh, the old saran wrap treatment. I don't like that stuff. Oh boy. Sometimes this is really brutal, the saran wrap. You don't know what to do with it. I'm not sure where it even starts. Oh, and Seems like it starts up here. Yeah, this is the, the saran wrap is the most difficult stuff of all to deal with. Uh, uh, you don't know where to cut it. You know, it just uh, uh, looks like Johnny's hopefully got it figured out. Mm-hmm. Going to unravel now? Looks like now it. We're getting there. Oh, you got yeah. it. You got it. The key point there. Oh, looks like we got some kind of a um, Hirschbonger here. Oh, this is an old uh, dry cleaner's bag here, is what it was. It wasn't saran wrap. <laughs> All right, oh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's quite in a. Uh, Ooh, well, I'm seeing something here with um, oh, wow. the Kaiser's um, cipher on the clamshell. Uh, looks like the Skinner is going to time, uh, but wow, that that's a sign of um, maybe some 
really good things to come here. Let's see if there's anything else on the outside. That, well, it's just basic piece on the outside except for that, but that's not something you see very no. often. Oh, oh yeah, here we oh, go. Goodness. Oh boy. Yeah, look at that collector's. Uh, it's a beautiful um, Damascus blade. Uh, it's that band type Damascus, you know it. Oh yeah. It looks like you're pulling apart a Turkish tappy. You know what I'm talking about? You know, <laughs> kind of looks like that to me, anyhow. And um, beautiful um, hunting scenes uh, with all uh, gold inlay. And uh, let's see on the. Oops, what do we got on the reverse here? Oh man. Um, You'll see the word Romanton there, and the date, 30 September 1913. Uh, Romanton was the name of the personal hunting lodge that was owned by the royal family. And uh, so this, uh, this Hirschfanger is connected to the royal family, obviously, and with the uh, Kaiser mm -hmm. cipher on the front. Uh, Romanton, um, of course, the Kaiser, when he left Germany, everything kind of went to the state. But guess who uh, used Romanton quite a bit during the time? Uh, uh, Herr Gurry, one yeah. of his uh, favorite spots. Um, and also we have a, um, uh, a maker here. Uh, yeah. Um, their name... Uh, I can't actually make out their name, but it's uh, a Hofleferant Berlin, which uh, meant um, uh, supplier to royalty. That's what Hofleferant meant. So this is something that um, uh, is probably a very important um, Hirschfanger. Um, I don't know whether we could say it was the, the Kaiser's. Um, it may have been worn by the Kaiser's head Mm. Uh, forest master or hunting master, something like that. Um, but it's absolutely um, connected directly to the uh, royal family. Uh, nobody at that time was going to rear, wear something with Romantin on mm. it unless they were involved uh, there. So, so this is um, uh, this is probably a uh, a real treasure. Uh, wow. Well, that. <laughs> For you guys that like um, hunting things, you're not going to see stuff that's uh, much better than that. And still in, um, well, not going to drink anything that's much better than this either. Mm -hmm. What else we got, Johnny? One more. Mm -hmm. Looks nice so far. Mm. Yeah, a little tough to unravel, but you get the key spot, and that's the mm -hmm. that's the way to do it. Wow, I can't believe this. This is really uh, wow. Huh. It's interesting too. The um, uh, the cipher. Uh, has WR, which is Wilhelm Rex, uh, but it doesn't have two underneath of it. Uh. Uh, this could possibly be the uh, Kaiser's um, uh, father, very possibly, who was Wilhelm I. Let's see what uh, we got here. Oh, boy, this is a massive uh, piece. Boy, I love the... The dog, huh? Uh, yeah, let's get this stuff off too, and so we can really appreciate what this is. No Skinner there either, it looks like. It's a shame. Uh, nice work, John. Delicately but effectively done, John. <laughs> Should have been a surgeon, I think. You know, uh, you got the touch here. Uh, it's, uh, right. 
that's a good way to um, to package things too. That way, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about the rings cutting into the leather or something. You know, and, Ooh, bands, and beautiful wow. bands, aren't they? Wow, uh, this is all in a uh, uh, silver. Uh, just just magnificent. The fluorine and the, the lug is uh, wow. incredible. Those oak leaves. Yeah. Look at the handwork and on the, those. And the um, the clamshell clam is really beautiful with the raised out stuff in between. And then the cross guard has dog heads, hunting dogs. You know, those were those pointer dogs, mm -hmm. you know, that showed you where you were supposed to shoot. And then a dog head pommel too with two small acorns. And uh, there's something on the reverse of this uh, upper mount here. Um, uh, Johan something or other Nornberg he's the person that would have mm -hmm. handmade this uh, this would have been a very expensive cutlass by the looks of it uh, let's see what the blade looks like oh here we go oh, 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 oh. Uh, wow wow well collectors you can really see that this is uh, this is really beautiful beautiful work um, we see this a lot on um, uh, Bavarian cutlasses, but this one apparently is from Nuremberg, which is was in Bavaria, but usually it's Munich where we see this kind of stuff. But uh, and let's see what's on the other side. And more, more mm. beautiful work. Hmm. The raised silver and then the blue yeah. gold. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and the blade is uh, is uh, in full full mint condition. I mean, it's really really nice. Uh, um, so uh, this is not your um, your average um, cutlass here. Um, really, with this length, uh, we would kind of call them uh, like a short mm -hmm. sword. And uh, this type of thing uh, uh, in the old old days, uh, the blade was long like this because you were you were supposed to stand out there with this thing drawn. And the dogs were supposed to scare the boar out of the bush, and you're supposed to stab him as he's running towards you. Mm -hmm. I wish you luck on that. <laughs> yeah, and you you want a little and, longer uh, is better. <laughs> that's why the length was there so that the, it would it would kill the the animal right away, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully. But uh, well, this is a very very uh, beautiful thing. Um, uh, I'm going to assume that. Um, uh, that this piece is also connected to the royal family, although I don't see anything on it that uh, that attributes it to that. But uh, uh, the quality mm -hmm. and the detail uh, of the cutlass is uh, is really extraordinary. And maybe there's is some kind of hint here on this. Uh, let me look at this um, maker thing again here. Uh, now, just the name Yo Johannes uh, something uh, Strohberger Nuremberg. That's all. That's that's all that's there. But um, uh, perhaps that guy can be researched, Research, and you yeah. find out uh, what his uh, yeah. business uh, was around. You know, he may have been the personal exactly. uh, producer of things for the royal family. I don't know, but but anyhow, um, I think we got a couple of real real killers here. Uh, these are not things that you're going to uh, run across uh, at the average gun show. Um, uh, we'll have to uh, find out what history we can on each of the pieces and uh, to me for someone that's a, a very advanced um, hunting forestry collector uh, I, I would think that these things would um, would fit in uh, very, very very nicely. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, that's uh, that's going to uh, uh, finish us up here, and uh, uh, Johnny's going to be going home in a few days. So this will be our, our last um, for now. opening for, for now. now. <laughs> yeah, we'll do we'll there do more in the future, and uh, Thank I you. hope you guys enjoyed. Johnny's presence here. He's a, he's a real good guy. I, can't I can't do enough for anybody. He's yeah. just just great, and he uh, he loves the hobby. And uh, so uh, you're going back to Germany. I am indeed. Yeah. Yep, indeed. Johnny uh, uh, has a company in Germany. He's been there for what 11 years. Yep. 11, 11 years. years. Yep. So um, we hope you get another vacation time and. Uh, 
and come back here to, to poor old Whitman. <laughs> I look forward yeah, to it. Yeah, okay. I look forward so, to it, so thank you very much. Very Appreciate good. It. Uh, okay, collectors, that's it for now, and uh, uh, we'll see you in our dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I collect.